Hey, good morning, how do you do? We've got something special for you. It's just for fun, it's just for kids. It's time for the Pacific Touch Number six, fainting couches. They were a really big deal in the Victorian era and they served a special purpose. Women often passed out because their corsets were way too tight. They felt like they were about to faint or if they felt too weak to stand, they'd make their way over to the fainting couch. Mm. They noticed the shape of the couch. It was designed so that women could lean back and give their ribs a bit of a rest while still appearing ladylike and demure. Yeah, <laughs> wow. that's, that's, what's well, most, that's what's most important. Yeah, yeah that's what well. Really matters. <clears throat> so how many ribs do you have? You got a lot, right? Yeah, come on. You got so a few one spares or two, in there. You know, yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah. yeah. It's not like you're going to collapse if you uh, break yeah, one or yeah, two. Yeah, yeah. I can't boy corsets. Oh. No. oh, Lord. Number five, it's all about preppy fashion right now. Paul, I feel like more and more I'm getting these fashion yeah. stories. And I want to apologize uh, Liz, mm -hmm. I've been uh, for my, my small show. part in all of this. Right now, think plaids, uh, think stripes. Uh, blazers and loafers, all of that. And try adding some fun colors in pastel shades, especially as we look ahead to March and April and spring. Right. Really, I don't think you need to wait until then, but that's just, just my, my uh, feeling about the whole thing. You want crisp button downs. If they're not crisp, you throw them the hell out. Yeah. Polo shirts, light cardigans. Uh, it's a throwback to the 80s and the 90s. If you're under 30, try raiding your parents' closets for the stuff they wore in high school. Hmm. <laughs> Number four, uh, let's talk about the ancient tomb cookies. Uh, the recipe is 1,300 years old. Back in 1915, uh, some archaeologists opened a tomb dating back to the 3rd and 9th centuries in China, and uh, they reportedly found these little pretty cookies, uh, like the ones you see right here. Uh, they did their best to recreate them and called them what else? The old ancient tomb cookies. Uh, you can Google the recipe. It's going to be cold this weekend. You and the whole family yeah. can sit around and... Buddy. <clears throat> That's a fun project for yeah, everybody. A lot of questions old. about these cookies. Is that, yeah. is that a cherry in the middle? I can't remember. Yeah, it looked like a cherry. Yeah, it looks good. Yeah. Did they just post the recipe on like a the inside in of a cave? Or? Yeah. 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 yeah, in the old days, yeah. that's probably what Have they did. Have a cup of flour. Yeah. 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 Uh, number three, there's nothing worse than trying to reheat a steak and end up with a dry, uh, yeah. shriveled oh, piece of meat. Yeah. Yeah. That's because most people tend to overcook it. So here are a few hacks we found online. Oh, Make good. sure the steak is room temperature. Then put it in a skillet, heat it over medium heat, and drizzle it with cooking oil or grapeseed oil. Then briefly sear the steak on both sides until it feels warm enough to you. Remember, you're reheating it, not recooking it. Oh, that's a good tip. Yeah. Yeah. Although, Paul, I think you would agree. If if you can't finish a steak in one <laughs> sitting, yet move to Canada. That's we true. don't need you in yeah. this country. You made a Come bad on. decision. Right. Yeah. yeah. Toughen up a little bit. So steak last night. Yeah. Uh, all right, thanks, Pat. Number two. Uh, let's take a second and talk about horny mm. toads. Turns out they're not toads at all. No. They're not even frogs. They're well, lizards. They are. <laughs> they are lizards with big horns. Mm. And they have scales all over them, so that's why they're called horny. Now you horny, do it. But not horny toads. Uh, <laughs> they've been given the name, uh, here's a fun fact, horned toads are, or lizards, as they're known uh, for their ability to shoot a stream of blood from their eye or their <gasps> eyelid to frighten predators away. Now that's a that's skill a right talent. there. Yeah. yeah. Right there, right? If we could do that, imagine the people running to get away from us. Yeah. <laughs> Not terribly attractive, but I'm sure they've but got effective. great personalities. Yeah. yeah. They're effective the personalities in what they do. make up for the sure charisma. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. The riz. The, the riz. <laughs> the riz. <laughs> Number one, more rules from the anti-flirt club, first established in the late 1920s. Oh the purpose of the club was to protect young women and girls from unwelcome attention. Don't fall for the slick, dandified cake eater. The unpolished mm. gold of a real man is worth more than the gloss of a lounge lizard. Wow. Don't smile at flirtatious strangers. Save them for the people you know. Wow. And don't ignore the man you are sure of while you flirt with another. When you return to the first one, you may find oh, you're gone. Uh, yeah. That's right. Uh, mm. Yeah. Write it down. Anti-flirters. And do the opposite. Yeah. All right, good to know.